Hello dear students today we are going to start with our lesson number 5 plants in the surrounding part 2 so in the first part we have discussed that a plant mainly consists of two parts a root system and a shoot system a root system comprises of roots in which there are two types of roots tap and fibrous roots and also we discussed about the functions of the roots now in this video we are going to discuss about the functions of the parts which are present in the shoot system and what are they they are stem fruit leaf and flower the first part we are going to discuss about in this video is leaf so leaves are most important part of plant as they prepare food for the plant so students leaves are also called the kitchen of plants so students most of the leaves are green in color but in some plants they are present in different colors also why these leaves are uh, green in color because there is a pigment called chlorophyll present in it due to which these leaves are green in color students you may have seen a network of lines on the leaf these lines are called the veins and the pattern of veins on these leaves is called the leaf venation there are two types of venation reticulate venation and parallel venation so what is reticulate venation so students in a reticulate venation all the veins are interconnected in complex manner or in net like struck uh, like a net and in parallel venation you can see here that all the veins are running parallel to each other this type of venation is called parallel venation the next we will discuss about the main function of the leaves is to prepare food for for the plant by the process of photosynthesis Photosynthesis is a process in which plants prepare their food in the presence of carbon dioxide, water and sunlight with the help of chlorophyll. And the next part we are going to discuss about is the flower. So students as you know that flower is the most beautiful part of a plant and its main or primary function is to produce a new plant it is a reproductive part of a plant okay so let us discuss about its main parts a flower consists of petals sepals pistil and stamen flowers are found in various shapes and sizes and also colors the next part we are going to discuss about is the stem some plants have soft and tender stem, stems and some have thick and hard stem. The thick and hard stem of plant, big plants is called trunk. But the function of the stem is same in all the plants. Okay, let us discuss. The main function of stem is support, conduction and growth. As you can see in the picture, the stem supports branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. The second is conduction. As in the picture, it is shown the blue arrows going upwards, take, uh, ab taking water and minerals to the branches and leaves. And also they conduct or transport the food prepared by the leaves to all parts of the plant. This is called conduction and also stem help in the growth of plants students next we are going to discuss about the fruits fruit is an important part of the plant as it contains seeds and the seed helps in reproduction fruit also uh, fruits also store food that can be eaten by the other animals so now we come to know about the importance of fruit okay and the next we will discuss about a seed its structure its parts and its function okay so students you can see here a picture 
of a seed a seed has three main parts seed coat embryo and seed leaves seed leaves you can see here where food storage is marked or it is it is called cotyledons okay the seed coat protects the internal soft delicate part of tiny plant called embryo you can observe seed parts by soaking seeds in water for overnight after soaking the seed overnight you will find that the seed has absorbed water and it get gets swollen and the swollen seed show its different parts more clearly it contains fleshy seed leaves and the baby plant inside the seed coat seed leaves are also called as cotyledons you can see here two seeds are shown bean seed and corn seed so students on the basis of cotyledons the seeds can be of two types monocotyledons and dicotyledons in short we can say dicot and monocot bean seed is a dicot or dicotyledon because it contains two cotyledons you can see here it is shown by the arrows cotyledon two cotyledons it has and the maize plant which is only having one cotyledon it is called monocot all the classes mainly have monocot seeds some examples of monocot are maize wheat rice and onion and some examples of dicot gram pea beans etc students our next topic is germination the growth of a seed into a seedling or a small plant or a baby plant is called germination the essential conditions for germination of a seed are proper amount of air water and warmth means a seed needs warmth air and water to grow into a new plant the seed absorbs water from the soil and increases in size the seed coat breaks open and a root grows downward whereas the shoot grows upwards primarily the root when begin to grow called radical and the shoot is called plumule so students we must care about all the plants as they are very important for us plants give us oxygen and many other useful products plants provide home to many animals and birds also without plant there is no life possible on this earth so students here we end up our lesson see you in the next video till then bye bye